Hello and welcome, Cabbage here. In War of the Visions, let's do the 6 month EX job tier list ranking for MR and lower rarity units. Again, to explain how the tier list is different from other tier lists, uh, these are units that have the EX job awakenings in JP. Uh, some of them aren't out at, in global, so uh, this can be a kind of a look ahead for global players. And in the previous video, the UR video, Still, there's some uh, confusion about what this tier list is actually listing. I think some people look at this list and they see characters towards the top as quote-unquote better, and then characters towards the bottom as quote-unquote worse, but that's not what this list is for. I perhaps infamously say that all units are good. Uh, some people get very angry with me for saying that, but it's true. That's why I say it. But what this list is showing is like how much thought you have to put into uh, before taking them to EX jobs, and then how far to take them. So I have my no-brainer tier. Nobody needs to think about uh, taking Mont to EX jobs. He is that good, he is that easy to use. And then as you work your way down the list, you have to think more about taking those units to EX jobs, because they're maybe less useful in less situations. And then, if we look at a 120 and 115, uh, 120 units are also not quote-unquote better than 115 units. It's just looking at how much of a good investment uh, maybe that final skill is, uh, those final levels are. And so actually, one way you could read this list, uh, maybe especially for free-to-play users without a lot of materials, you can aim for like the 115 units on this list. Uh, knowing that you would need fewer materials uh, to maybe get uh, very good use out of them. This is exactly why I hate tier lists, because they always get misinterpreted. People always take the uh, wrong conclusions from them. But hopefully now, six tier lists in, people will get it. <laughs> Alright, but anyway, let's go from the top. Uh, Mont, no-brainer, I'm gonna leave him there. Uh, still very easy to use, still very powerful still see him in uh, JP, like PvP, every now and then. And then with the uh, the Earth Vision cards that have come out recently, uh, one very good for tanking, one very good for attacking, uh, that might make him even better. I'm tempted to try him on a team with uh, Muraga. Okay, and then we got uh, top 120. Uh, these are also very strong recommendations, uh, but not for everybody. Uh, but we see uh, Nasia and Dario here. Spoiler alert, I'm going to put all MR tanks in the uh, top pile, uh, because the MR tanks, they are one of the best investments in the game. Uh, they can uh, work just fine alongside uh, UR units. I hear folks wishing that uh, MR units were more viable. Uh, well, the truth is they are with EX jobs. Uh, you gotta try them out first, though. <laughs> I do want to say one thing about Nasia's pronunciation. A lot of people are calling her Nasha, and I want to ask why. I know that native English speakers are not good with vowels, because uh, in English, every vowel has multiple ways that you can pronounce it. But you look at all of the other names in War of the Visions, uh, like Lucia, Adorado, Ildura, Miranda, Yaruma, Mediana, all of the A's have the same sound, ah. I usually don't care about native English speakers' pronunciation of vowels when it comes to stuff translated from uh, Japanese into English, but pronouncing Nasha as Nasha for no reason is just beyond the pale for me and I can't let it slide. <laughs> People that pronounce it Nasha, I want them to explain to me why they don't pronounce both the A's the same and go Nasha. Anyways, back to the uh, tier list. Uh, we have Ramada here. <laughs> She's also a very special unit. I only put the uh, real special MR units in uh, the top pile. Uh, but 120, she gets a long range uh, dispel, which is a very kind of rare and uh, useful skill. And then we have uh, Tsubayaki, one of the MVPs for the uh, Earth selection quest. And I should mention here, uh, selection quests. We have, uh, what is it? Kamiro, Muraga, and Gargas. As of this moment, uh, Muraga is easily the best. 
Uh, Camiro has his niche. He can uh, be a good counter to Helena. Gargas seems pretty good overall. But Muraga is the standout for sure. He can definitely go toe-to-toe -to -toe with uh, level 120 UR units, including Cloud. I want to make a, a video about that pretty soon. The Earth selection quests were very difficult, but uh, if you were interested in Muraga, then yeah, I think definitely you want to take Tsubiaki to uh, EX jobs. Okay, next we got a Vistral at top 115. I don't think his level 120 skill is uh, necessary. So you could save yourself some uh, time and materials that way. Alright, next we got a good 120. Uh, Seymour, he just came out in uh, Global, and I think people are pretty impressed with how strong he is. But both him and O, they're super solid, but I wouldn't call them special, uh, like the characters in the top pile. Still, excellent uh, investments, I think. Okay, next we're at uh, good 115. Uh, Balo, main job knight, excellent for his breaks, also good for the Earth selection quests, of course. And then uh, Durando, I took him to 120, but you can probably stop at 115. Uh, for him, I think you really want his vision card. It might be a little bit difficult to work on, but uh, yeah, I can give him more move, uh, give him some more uh, defense, was it? Yeah, get that card for him if you want to clear those Earth selection quests. And then uh, Shuzel, another solid attacker. Don't need to take him to 120, I think. And Etua, I was surprised by her using her in uh, the selection quests. Uh, she was great at uh, 115 and 120. I used her at both uh, levels in there, but pretty good damage dealer. Nice movement, uh, nice status effect stuff. And then with the uh, right trust masters, especially like uh, healing or barriers or uh, curing other status effects. She was very useful. Okay, next we're down to the uh, niche tier. In the uh, last UR video, uh, somebody was saying that they were feeling sad uh, after raising Yedema's job levels and then me taking her down from good to niche. But that person shouldn't feel bad. Again, all units are good. And actually, the people that will awaken and then level uh, the units that I put into niche uh, will get more respect from me uh, than people that just work on like top or no-brainer units because the niche units are more for the uh, the thinking player, I think. <laughs> All right, but here we have uh, Liat. I'm seriously considering awakening her to EX jobs because uh, she would be so good for the uh, kind of the cost limited teams. Uh, like uh, unit cost uh, 220 or something. She way outperforms her cost, so that would be pretty attractive, I think. Uh, next we got Miche. If you do take him to EX jobs, you want to take him to 120. Uh, he gets some nice uh, skills. Kind of a fun character. Uh, interesting uh, status effects and breaks and stuff. And then we have uh, Phoebe. If you wanted a uh, time mage on your team, which could be uh, almost necessary for certain tanks, she could be really good for that. And then we have a Severo, uh, a legitimate counter to Megamont. It'll be interesting to see uh, what happens in Global when he gets his EX job. And then uh, Leela, kind of an interesting uh, utility character. Maybe a uh, low-level uh, magic tank, even. Okay, then we got uh, Niche 115. Uh, the first three characters, Kuli, Zazan, and Yuni, they have interesting status effects, but their level 120 skills are not amazing. And then uh, Meriduk, her, she's kind of in niche 115 for the same reason that Mashiri is in there. Probably not worth taking to EX jobs. Uh, but we'll see what happens with the uh, lightning selection quests. Okay, last, we have the unreleased units. Uh, Surgis, let's put him, uh, I guess niche 120. His uh, job level 25 skill is probably the best thing about him. Uh, but like a super low-level physical tank. A little bit of uh, movement skills, but I don't think he's that impressive. Fina, however, is very impressive. I think we could put her in uh, top 120, uh, but she's always been a good character. One of the best buffs in the game with uh, cheer. And then she could do magic damage, physical damage, healing, support. And then I think it was Maechin in a recent video. He showed her off 
doing over 5,000 damage to uh, top tier characters like uh, Helena, uh, Dwayne, people like that. So yeah, I haven't wakened her to EX jobs yet, but I'm very tempted to. Okay, and then I think uh, next week or the week after that, uh, Helena and Vajim will get their EX jobs. So we'll see how they turn out. Okay, so that was uh, six months with EX jobs, uh, MR, and lower rarity units. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you again. Take care.